Hey guys, it's Jilly and welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna go and get my belly button pierced. So, just a brief, brief story. I have wanted my belly button pierced for five years now because one of my old dance instructors had their belly button pierced. I was like, whoa, it looks really cute. I want it. And I already have six piercings. I have three on each side. Um, and my parents were like, no, you can't get any more ear piercings until you're out of the house. So I was like, okay, then I'll just get my belly button pierced. Um, so I convinced them and then my dad was like, well, if people on Instagram say more yeses than noes on a poll, which I put up on my Instagram, uh, it's chilly one if you're not following it yet, then I'll let you get a pierced. And well, clearly the poll said more yeses than noes. So I am here. This is my fit for the day. I have Converse with these cute pants and shirt from Arrow. And oh my God, I'm so excited. We're gonna go get my belly bump pierced. Also, I forgot to mention, we have to go and get a notarized consent form first because I'm a minor in the state of Florida, so they require a notarized consent form. So I'm not going directly to the piercing place. I have to go and do that. Okay guys, so there was some copyrighted music, so I'm gonna have to do a voiceover or else YouTube will flag me. So first they made me stand up with my back straight, my arms to my side, and my feet hip width apart so they can mark up where my belly button piercing will be going, where it'll line up on the top, and where it will line up on the bottom. I'm gonna mention that my piercer was really nice. Like, he was actually really calming, and he made me be a little less scared about getting this piercing. Then he laid me down, and we took, like, these little clasps, and he took the skin where the piercing's gonna go, and he pulled it back, basically. And there's a rubber band on it, so it'll keep it closed and it'll keep it like in the spot that it's supposed to go. And there's also like really close piercing content <laughs> coming up. So if you're squeamish about that kind of stuff, then I suggest, you know, probably skipping through this part a little bit. Then he told me to take some deep breaths and I actually didn't realize like at this point that he was putting the needle through until the third breath and then I felt it. If I'm gonna be completely honest, it wasn't that bad. It was probably like, my second most painful piercing. I have six total, so it wasn't that bad. Then he went ahead and he put the jewelry on. and I was all done. He sanitized it like after we were done and I have to clean it consistently like three or four times a day. And then I got up and I was able to actually look at the piercing in the mirror and I was literally so happy. It looked literally so good. Okay guys, so I just got home from the piercing shop and oh my god, here I'll step in the sun for you guys. I'm literally so happy. It looks so good. It's so pretty. Um, the stone is a little bigger than I wanted to, but I can replace it in I think six to eight weeks, I said, if it's healing well. So as long as it's healing well, I can switch it out. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That is me getting my belly button pierced. I'm literally so happy. It looks so good. Um, I would highly suggest, if I'm going to be completely honest, it really wasn't that painful. It was probably less painful than my third piercing. Um, and it doesn't feel bad at all now. So yeah, I just have to take care of it and make sure it stays nice and healthy. And that's it. I love you guys all so much. Thank you for coming along with me and watching me get my belly button pierced. And I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Bye!